friends, good morning. Today I thought we could do a get ready with me video. I have the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. You guys know the original one. Let me show you the original one. Looks like this. This has been my go-to foundation ever since they came out with it. You guys know, like every get ready with me, what do I use that, right? So I'm really excited to show you guys how this wears. And I actually, I've been using it for a while. I got it as PR and I was shook, you guys. I was so shook because I never got PR from Fenty Beauty ever. So I I almost fell on the floor. Ask Justin, you guys. Anyways, before I get ready, or let's just start getting ready now. So this is the Sugar Lip Wonder Drops by Fresh. I love Jackie Ina. I watch her videos every single video. I love her so much. Um, and she mentioned that these work really well for the lips. So I just put it directly on my lip and then I rub it on like this. I just started using it yesterday. I had little dry patches on my nose. Sorry about that, friend. So I'm going to let that settle. And I'm going to remove this because I've had this for a while already. And let me just share. I already moisturized. I use the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen. It has SPF 30. If you rub it in really, really well, you won't get a white cast. Because, look, I don't have one, right? Oh, by the way, I'm using my new Canon G7X Mark III in 4K. So, y'all, you never see me look like this ever in life. You guys, I bought this at Sephora. I think I saw Jessica Alba use this, so I was like, yes, please. So I bought it at Sephora. I started using it yesterday because I just got it in the mail yesterday. It's the Nurse Jamie. It has like a couple of stones in there or like a bunch of stones in there. It's a hexagon shape and it's supposed to help bring circulation to your face and temporarily lift it. You guys, I was doing this while watching Euphoria with Justin last night. And I swear to you, my face did feel tighter. And I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I really didn't think it was going to work. But, dude, totally works. You can, you can even do it gently on the eye area, the contours of your eye. There's a video where you can watch it. So those fresh drops, I'm a little too hard. You see how my face got a little red? <laughs> I'm so crazy. So, yeah, you just do that a little bit. I promise you it works, at least for me. Um, cause it worked like immediately after I used it. So those fresh drops, it doesn't really completely moisturize, but Jackie said that, um, give it some time and you'll notice a difference with your lips. So that's what I'm doing. I mean, I just started using it yesterday. So I'm going to use my Laneige lip sleeping mask. It looks like this. You guys, I've been talking about this for years now. If you haven't tried it, please. Try it. I promise you it's worth it. So after, before I even moisturize my bed, I use this serum. This is my Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Night Serum. And I honestly started using it because Coffee Break with Danny used it. And I love her. And I, everything that she mentions works really, really well. Like, I promise you guys that. So much that I stand her. Like, hold on. L let me show you how much I stand her. I love me some Danny. I wear this to the gym or to sleep. Lipstick and lattes and love. And you can even wear it with like leggings. It's kind of, well, I'm five feet tall, so you can wear it with leggings. <sighs> yeah, I bought it when she had released it. Um, yeah, I love her. <laughs> okay, so the mask was the Pixie Detoxify Depuffing Eye Patches. Um, I got this as PR a long time ago, and it has lasted forever. But that's also because I like using the skin eye mask. We're going to do Q&As in this video. I'm all over the place because I'm really excited. Um, so I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. So you guys know I have oily skin, but I realize that I have a T-zone. Like I have an oily T-zone, and then I have dry patches on here on the cheeks. So, maybe it'll be good for my skin. By the way, I want to buy the, oh, is it o, Ola Ole Henriksen um, primer? The um, yellow looking one? Because I saw Danny use it in her recent Get Ready With Me video, and I'm convinced that, that I need that in my life, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so, here is the primer. We're going to let that settle. And while we're letting that settle, let's moisturize. I like using my Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. So we just got back from Long Beasy. I visited my family. We flew there for my grandma's 90th birthday party. You guys, grandmas are such blessings. Like, if your grandma is still alive, 
please, or grandpa, please make sure to give them a call. Let them know how special they are because you don't know how long they have, you know. And that's the case for everyone in your life. You don't know. You you have no idea, you know. Like, little did I know, like, I did. I never thought that my dad would be gone, you know. Like, I never thought he would have cancer. I knew that, like, in his family, we, we lost so many people in, in his family from cancer. His mom died of, of cancer when he was, like, eight. So his sister who raised him, Auntie Linda, she had died of cancer too and he was so broken from that and little did we know he was going to also pass away from cancer like it's terrible anyways this is sol de janeiro boom boom creep i love chatting with you guys you guys i'm an introvert i have to say i truly am but chatting with you guys I don't feel like an introvert. Is that weird? So many people are like, you're a YouTuber, you can't be an introvert. Honey, it's a thing, it's a thing. I can be an introvert. So let's go look at some questions while I apply the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Longwear Foundation because I wanted to do the Q&A um, if my phone can work. Oh, by the way, I wanted to share something with you guys, okay? So this is a little camera that blocks creepers from seeing you. Let me show you guys. Let's pretend that I'm going to take a picture, right? So, like, if you had that camera on, sometimes your camera might be accessed. You know what I'm saying? So, let's have it to the selfie mode. I just have to share this with you guys. Like, I think it's so cool. If my phone would just work on me, like, come on, phone. Okay, do you guys see? It's a reflection. Oh, dang, honey. Actually, no, it's supposed to face you guys. So here. I, I will lie. What is wrong with me? Okay, so. You see that? It's facing my new camera. Hey, y'all. But if you do this, it blocks the camera from facing you. So I recommend it for everyone. Because, like, I'm that type of person who has a sticker on her laptop because I don't want the camera being turned on by itself, you know, or by a hacker. So I definitely recommend this. I got this as PR in like this mommy care box. I have no idea who sent it to me, but I will be showing you guys the link because I feel like this is so necessary or at least for someone who's kind of like me, you know, who kind of doesn't want <laughs> creepers all up in her, on her phone, you know what I mean? Like you never know. And like, you know, you can still access it. You can like slide it left and right if you want to take your selfie and do whatever you want to do. So let me just get some questions real quick, you guys. Let's access those questions. Okay. So Kayla Ray XO says, do you still make time for yourself being a wife, mom, work, and school? I find it hard. Yes. Every morning I go to the gym. I just got back from the gym um, earlier. Why am I sweating, you guys? I feel like I can't turn the AC on because it's because then it'll be too loud. I have my air purifier going on my molecule, but that's on silent, so hopefully you guys don't hear it. But yes, I make time for myself because self-care is really important. And honestly, I feel good about myself knowing that I go to the gym because my body is slowly changing. I'm stronger and I, I like that. Like, I'm so much stronger. Like, I can carry all these baskets of laundries up the stairs when I used to ask Justin to do it for me that's how weak I was and now you know I'm just I'm getting stronger and that's what really matters to me um let me just blend it now this is the beauty blender in sapphire and I really love it I love it so much let's see how has your channel and mindset changed over the 10 years being on YouTube um I feel like I just share what I want to share on my YouTube channel. Um, back then, I felt like so much pressure to be like other YouTubers. But now that I'm older and have my own personal interests, I just share what I like. I love Costco, so I do Costco shop with me videos. I love Amazon. I love cleaning. So those are things that I share. You know, I don't try to do things that, um, that are like outrageous just to get views like I don't do clickbait if you guys notice like I feel like people will trust you more if you are less sensational but people do like those sensational clickbait channels because it's it's you know it's catchy it's 
it's like, oh, what's going on? What's the new tea situation? But that, that would not be me. So this is the foundation. This is how one layer of it looks like. It's, um, if you eat, but why am I stuttering? If you guys can see, I think it matches my skin. Even more if I was a little bit more tan, but my neck is a little slightly lighter, but that's okay, we'll fix that later. But so far, this is what it's looking like dewy. Um, one layer, let's stick to just one layer. Let's not be too extra. Cause I feel like the original foundation um, has more coverage and it dries really fast, but this is for more normal skin, not oily skin like the other one. So let's just leave it at that. Let's just let it settle. Hopefully it doesn't feel too sticky because it's hydrating and hydrating on top. And for someone who has combo oily, whew, we'll see you guys, we'll see. And so I'm going to just go ahead and set it with this powder. I'm using this powder for the first time. So, so you guys, if I look cray cray, tell me, okay? So the, <laughs> this is the Thrive Soft Focus HD Setting Powder, and it's in translucent matte. And the reason why I bought it is I saw ads on it on my Instagram, and I started buying stuff on Instagram like ads because I'm going to review a bunch of stuff that I get ads on because I think that would be a fun video to do. So here I am putting it on. Let's do one side of the face and see how that looks, you guys. So the left side looks nice and matte. The right side looks nice and dewy. And as you can see, the foundation still shows like, you know, my spots and stuff like that, which is good. Like I'm not trying to be like covered up today. I'm just going out to lunch with Justin and then doing work. I honestly wouldn't even be wearing makeup if I wasn't going out to lunch, but this is kind of like a date lunch with Justin. Let's see. And my skin gets really patchy when we travel, and you guys, I can't avoid it. We travel like every month. Like once a month, there were two times this year that we traveled three times a month. Oh goodness gracious, we were traveling so dang much. It was insane, but we're gonna have to slow down because Liam is now in kindergarten. And kindergarten attendance is counted for, so we can't just, you know, take them out of school, which I'm going to miss because I love traveling. But at the same time, I like the regularity of, like, a schedule because then I can actually eat better and work out more because <laughs> that's my new favorite thing lately. I love working out lately. Can you, t can you tell me something about the postpartum hair fall and how you managed it? Okay, so if you are having postpartum hair loss, I have a video where I show you how to hide it. You can use like these sprays. Uh, that's the color of your hair. You can hide it like that. You can use eyeshadow. You can um, rub castor oil on your face and that'll help. Um, what else can you do? Um, definitely take your multivitamins. I've been taking Ritual, I think since May, and it's a multivitamin that I really love because, you guys, I don't get nausea when I take it. And a lot of the multivitamins I used to take, I get nauseous. And it has like this mint flavor inside the packaging. You can remove it if it's too minty, if you don't like mint flavor, but I like it. It's like popping in a mint in a way but also getting your vitamins in. <laughs> I know that seems weird, but I, but I really like it. So like, I wanna work with them one day. I really do, because I really believe in their brand and I really like the products, you know? Ritual is a really good vitamin. Like, I stand. I stand Ritual, you guys, I really do. Okay, so I put on Bronzer Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I put it all around the face. We're not trying to do like a full, full beat, says says me in the beginning of my routine. We'll see. We'll see you guys. Um, this um, contouring brush that I've been using, it's older than my children. It's like probably eight years old. And dude, it's so amazing. I still, I love it so much. So I focus on the neck and the chin area like this to match the foundation because the bronzer can do that. And it also gives you like a chiseled look. I learned this from Mally Beauty when I took her makeup class um, when she was at an Ulta one day. I saw like, I saw flyers or something that she was gonna be there and I went and her class was so bomb. 
I want to be the person that she practices or not practices because she's an expert. I want to be one day the person that she puts makeup on. I want my makeup done by her one day. Like that would be a dream come true that would make me cry like a crazy lady. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, you guys. I put it out there. I go lie. I'm dropping things. I always drop things, you guys. Okay, so now I'm all over the place with my makeup routine. And I feel like lighting is off. It's overcast, you guys. So I have the lights on. This is 4K, so you see every detail of my mug. Ooh. So we're going to use this e.l.f. blush. It's the first time I'm using it. I bought it recently, you guys. In Always Cheeky. It had really good reviews. It's supposed to be like something infused. Okay, so. Do you guys see that? Mm. Mm. I don't see it on my face. I just. It's just. Darn it. I'm just a little too dark for this blush. No. I can't really see it. So we're going to just go in. Man, I wanted to love you so bad. Okay. Anyways, we're going to go in with a Tarte Big Blush Book. And I'm going to go in with... I don't know. Well, let's go in with Heated. Because, um, Heated. Oh, yeah. You see that? Heat it has a good color payoff. I don't know why I I gravitate towards these peaches, but they don't show up on my face. They will in the winter though when it gets really, you know, cold and I'm not out in the sun as much. But do you guys see? Oh yes, I'm loving Tarte Heated. If they sell it individually, I'll link it. But for now, it's from the big blush book that I've had forever. So yeah, we're just going to apply that on. I do like the Thrive Cosmetics um, Translucent Matte. I'm going to use that regularly, you guys. And so I have eyelash extensions, you guys. My friend Christina does them in the Bay Area. She has a mobile lash business, which means she drives her giant van. It has the lash bed in there, mirrors, everything in there. She's a makeup artist. She'll do makeup too. And she does eyelash extensions on the go, you guys. It's crazy cool. So here I am, I'm just brushing my eyelash extension, separating it a little bit, not trying to um, ruin them. I love them. So far they've been on for a week and I don't know how they've managed to stick on, but Christina I feel like keeps doing better as she does my lashes because um, I met her when I first moved into the Bay Area. Um, she's the only person I go to for eyelash extensions and like dang, she's getting better and better. So I'm just brushing my brows. These are just my brows that are microbladed. They're ombre powder brows from um, Maureen. I found Maureen brows by my by Maureen. I found her on Yelp, and um, she's great. Like I love the shape of it, but I feel like um, I still like filling in my eyebrows, even though they're microbladed, just to give them you know a little bit more definition. And I feel like the tail, you know, the tail part of the brows, I feel like it faded away quickly. But that's also because I'm a side sleeper. And she said that, you know, if you sleep on your side, it fades a little bit more. And she was not kidding. Especially here. I sleep on this side. Oh, the sun's coming out. You guys notice a little difference with the sunshine? Yes. I, I go lie. I'm dropping everything. So, oh yeah, by the way, this is the Brow Power Super Skinny in Universal Gray by It Cosmetics, you guys. I just grabbed whatever I have. And this pimple, courtesy of hormones, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. Or traveling. You guys, traveling jacks up my skin. I think it's the airplane or... And I didn't bring my own pillowcase for the Airbnb. If you guys know me, I bring my own pillowcases to the Airbnb. I'm just... I'm just that person who does that. I don't know why. So while I'm doing my eyebrows, since it takes forever, let's go find another question. What are some good series you and Justin watch lately? Lately, we've been so obsessed with Euphoria. Like, they call it like a Gen Z show, which means it's for like the younger generation. But this 34-year-old woman loves it, and I really do. And it's such a good show. It's a little, the whole storyline with Jules is quite disturbing because, um, you, you'll know, the, the first, ep I think it's in the first episode when you guys watch it, you'll know what I'm talking about, like, 
like why would she do that with a like with a grown grown man and that man happens to be married and have kids oh don't do that like don't do that like why yeah okay so <laughs> You'll, you'll see what I mean if you guys watch Euphoria, but that show is so good. Zendaya is my favorite character. She's so amazing. It's just like, it's just, just outrageous stuff going on right now in the show. Just insane. And it's so funny. I could predict all the things that were going to happen. Justin's like, what do you think is going to happen? I don't know what it is. I've always been this way, but I can predict what's going to happen in movies and shows. To me, I feel like it's obvious, but for Justin, he's like, really? Like, and I'm like, I told you, I told you this was going to happen. Like, it's crazy. Okay, so I think that's as good as we're going to get with the eyebrows. I mean, I feel like I could keep going, to be honest. This universal gray is really light, and I like to do little strokes, which is why it takes me forever. But it's okay. This is a hangout video, you guys, right? It's it's not like you're watching for my absolutely amazing, insane techniques. Makeup techniques. Because <laughs> I'm that skilled, y'all. I'm that skilled. You're right. Yeah, right. You would think after 10 years I would get it right, but I don't know. Um, so I'm looking for a brow gel, but here's the problem. We had we just got back yesterday. Yesterday afternoon and I can't seem to find brow gel. Hmm. That is so frustrating because brow gel is part of my makeup routine and I can't find it for nothing. Like for nothing. Oh, why is it so blurry? I guess that's what's happening with the new G7X. Okay, so let's go look for more questions. Um, yeah, so to answer your question, Euphoria is like our current show that we watch together and we can only pretty much watch watch one show at a time. I like watching Jane the Virgin um, when I'm folding laundry, when I'm editing a video that requires no um, no talking from me, from me, like a clean with me video. Um, I can watch Jane the Virgin and edit my clean with me video at the same time and then I'll do the voiceover on top. Yeah, so Euphoria. Um, and then Jane the Virgin and there's just so many shows we want to watch, but that's all for now um, April, how do you handle ju judgmental people around you when they are Your own oh like family members. Mm. I've always had those in my life I Always have those just prove them wrong, honey Be the bad a B that you were meant to be and prove them wrong sis. Just do it do it. Just keep chugging, chugging along. Be yourself. Be who you are. Be who you were meant to be. Don't let nobody tell you how to live your life. I mean, if you're hurting people, you know you're a wrong girl. Self-reflect. But if you're not and you're just being you and just living your best life and you're not hurting anyone and you're being a good person, girl, prove them wrong. That's all I have to say. That's what I did. Shoot, everyone was trying to tell me I was a loser because I did YouTube videos. Everyone was trying to tell me to get a dang job. People swore up and down I was a gold digger. Honey, ain't nobody here digging for gold, okay? I am a gold digger. G-O-A-L. Not a gold digger. Dude, I feel like I could be a motivational speaker. Because I'm that girl. I'm that BFF who's like, girl, you a bad A, B. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Like, I am your girl. Like, I am that girl. So if you're feeling like you're not feeling good today, you don't feel good about yourself, watch this video again. You better recognize you as a bad A, B girl. You better, rec or boy, better recognize this. Okay, so what I did with my lips while I was talking at the same time doing my lips. I'm a multitasker. What can I say? I did the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick with no liner. Because I can't find the pillow talk liner because we were traveling. I, I can't find it. <laughs> and then I'm using Tartist or Tartiste Avi lip gloss. I'm loving this nude combo. And then you guys, remember the little trick I told you guys about um, um, keeping your eyes like looking like they're awake? This is it, you guys. So I'm going to go in with my little mirror. This is the, the simple human mirror, the big one that I have. Um, I got it because because Danny. Coffee break with Danny. You guys know I'm obsessed with her. I'm going to just link her channel right below, even though y'all been subscribed to her. But you guys know, like, everything she mentions, I will buy. She did a video with Beauty Counter. Girl, I'm buying everything she talked about. Her five-minute makeup was on point. It was so on point. 
By the way, what's not on point is this pimple I see. Girl, you don't pay rent on my face. You need to get the get this step in. Why did I just call my pimple a girl? Oh my gosh, we did. I did this Instagram um, live and we named my pimple. One of my pimples like Felicia Romero, Georgia. I don't even know the name. It was a long name and we were just, just dying together as friends on the, the chat. Thank you guys if you guys were hanging out with me that day. Um, okay, so what? Oh, I didn't do my eyes. But you guys, I want to do a simple beat. So like, okay. This Candy Johnson palette is probably no longer available. Maybe you guys can find it on random sites. But this is by Too Faced, the I Want Candy palette. You guys know I love candy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with ice cream. You guys can find similar colors if you can't find the Candy Johnson palette. And I'm going to go all over, like under the lid, all over the lid. Being careful that I don't get a lot of fallout because of the eyelash extensions. But you guys, these eyelash extensions have lasted. I shower twice a day. I sweat so hard at the gym. The steam from the shower and all of that, you would think that these lashes would have fallen off. But I'm telling you, my friend Christina, the glue she uses or something is magical. Because back then, these lashes would have fallen out already. Like they really would have. It's been a week, you guys. A week. And it's still looking fluffy and full. Like how'd you do that, Christina? Her... Skills, I tell you um, when I wake up it does look crazy though <laughs> but that's why you have to brush it you have to brush it because it honestly looks crazy when you wake up in the morning so yeah so we did the ice cream color all over the lids like I mentioned I'm back you guys and this is my makeup bag it's the it's Judy time makeup bag that she sells at Walgreens she has it in different colors and everything and then I did find the eyebrow gel this is benefit gimme brow and I use the shade number three and so what I like to do is I like to just put the eyebrows up I need to get them threaded soon but what I like to do is just get these eyebrows standing in the top part like that by the way I, I have yet to buy glossier I want to buy the styling pen or that brow pen um, but I don't know if my brows are that the type that looks like that because I've been trying to do the you know like the eyebrows that stand up a little bit but I feel like it I just don't have enough eyebrows to do that it's not full enough I wonder if there's such a thing I bet there is you know how there's Latisse for lashes I bet there's a thing that helps your eyebrows grow too but then I don't want any other part of my face to be hairy because I already have a hairy face I, I even get laser hair removal for my face because it's hairy so now, now that we got the brows, we're going to go in with Cream Puff, this one right here. And we're just going to work on the crease with Cream Puff. And that's going to be it for the eyes after we get in with Cream Puff. You guys, we're almost done, but I always have to pop this into my inner corner of my eye. This is by Thrive Cosmetics. It's in Stella. This was from a FabFitFun box so long ago. But like, I'm obsessed with it. I feel like it really adds brightness to your eye I pop it right in the inner corner like I showed you like this but I also drag it down to the bottom lash line like this like that do you guys see it hello love of my life hello, what's up love of my life. oh hello yes hello friends I'm doing a get ready with me video oh, fine. Sorry. no don't be sorry we love to see you we sure do okay so, mm -hmm. can I ask you just quickly? Yeah. so I turned uh, off the camera Justin asked me a question I could have just left it on he asked me if um, we could go to the Daniel Caesar concert do you guys like Daniel Caesar he's so his voice is so good so we're gonna go this Friday I'm really excited we were thinking we were not gonna be able to go because our babysitter um, had another family that she was going to take care of but then she found out that family no longer needs her on Friday. So we get to go! Yay! I'm so excited! I'm so excited because Justin was really excited about that. So I don't even know what to wear though. Concerts? I feel like I never know what to wear at concerts. I'm not like that cool person who like 
who knows what to wear i think that's something that i struggle with like i really don't know how to dress um so this is the candy johnson palette again we going in with cream puff and pastry and cream puff a little bit and i like adding it to the bottom lash line i mean i already did that while i was chatting with you guys but i forgot to tell you and i'm sorry i was looking this way my bad i'm supposed to be looking this way because that's where the camera is sorry so yeah i like just adding a little bit of color right here underneath like that and then you know like as like as you do with makeup you know you just add a little bit more add a little bit less so i'm just kind of defining that with cream puff again for the crease like this like that but let me get in real do you guys like my lashes like do you love them like i love them i love them so much and then we are gonna set our face with some setting spray. My favorite is Urban Decay. Um, it's in the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I don't have any um, sunglasses, so I'm gonna just do this because I have eyelash extensions. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab my Bloom, um, <laughs> my Daily Planner, and I'm gonna just spam my face. I didn't even write on my daily planner because I just I just know what it is. Edit, edit, more editing and edit. <laughs> Cook, make the boys lunches. Yeah, but I usually do that when I'm crazy busy. So let's answer one more question and then I'm gonna show you guys my whole outfit, my hair and all of that before I say goodbye to you guys. So um, Joss.od says, is there still room for someone to start YouTube IG? There is so many people now. You know, there is always room for someone to start YouTube and IG. When I started 10 years ago, I feel like people's intentions to start social a social media account has changed. Mainly the people that I talk to, they want to do it because they want to make money. And they think they're going to make money like that. But let me tell you, it's not like that at all. It can take you five years, six years to even actually make some kind of money. So don't, if you're going to do social media, do it because you have a passion. Do it because you love it. Do it and be yourself in it. Because I feel like um, so many people are trying to be different versions of, a, of another person. But you are who you are. So, so like love that own that and be you for example when i started 10 years ago i was a really shy and timid girl i wasn't truly being authentically myself because i would i wouldn't talk the way i do now i've always talked like this i've i always have been i always talk the way i do but i felt like i had to have like that professional voice the professional type of show for youtube and then i realized now oh I don't have to so I, I just am who I am so long story short there's always room for people on social media but don't do it for money because that will happen sometimes people go viral and they just blow up but that's not the case for everyone like for me it took I started YouTube when there was no partner program I started YouTube when no one was making money we were just in it because we wanted to ha to be part of a community and it was a very positive community there was like no tea videos there was nothing we were in it to share our passion to help others and i think the reason why i continue to do it is because i'm still doing it for the same reasons yeah i'm making money yeah i'm getting hella sponsorships but that wasn't the case before i did it for free so when people want to tell me oh you're a seller no i am not this this no this situation you got it wrong you got it so wrong i've been doing this before anyone was even making money so how can someone even call me a sellout because i i worked for what i have like that's just so silly that's just ridiculous like people have no idea the hard work that goes into each sponsorship and the fact that i choose the brands that i choose to work with there are more opportunities that i say no to than the ones that i say yes to so Keep that in mind when you want to like start running, you know, stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's so silly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just show you guys my makeup and my hair and all of that. Oh no, I did the makeup. I'll show you guys my hair and my outfit for a date lunch and I'll see you guys so soon. So I'm here with my date. Yes. We're at Mendocino Farms, our favorite lunch spot. Justin got a bon me sandwich. I got a tuna and a salad with basil pesto and iced tea. Justin's getting there. Guys, so we just got back from lunch. Um, forgot to bring my camera 
what's it called? Charger. So this was my outfit. Do you guys see it? So the the, the, the shoes are Amazon Franco Sarto wedges. The pants are um, Amazon, you guys. High waisted. I'm five feet tall, so I had to wear wedges for it to actually not like drag, you know? And then um oh the turtleneck tank top. My mom and I are matching. We both bought it at Target. And when I was hanging out with her, the necklace is an anniversary gift from Justin. It's the Cartier Love Necklace. Dang, Justin, you're getting real close. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> and then the bracelet is, I mean, no bracelet. I mean, my bag. My bag is Louis Vuitton Pochette Metis. I wanted the original, you know, the one that everyone has, the canvas one, but they didn't have that one. So I decided to go for all black because I don't have a lot of all black bags. So I like it. I bought it, I think, last fall. So, so far, so good. The only issue with this bag is like, when you close it, sometimes like I just don't want to look when I close it. And so I've been scratching this part of it. But with me and bags, I don't really take care of it like that. If, if it was meant to be sturdy, it's meant to be sturdy. Like I don't baby my bags. Um, so yeah, thank you friends so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.